I thought it was really cool to take the idea and concept and then give it life almost like turn it into a movie without actually recording it so just shooting stills from a movie and that's basically what I tried to do it has been quite a while since I've done one of these every everything I'm I am judging everything about my setup right now it is not ideal but I wanted to get on here and make this video so today I'm actually gonna pull out my notes on my handy dandy cell phone because I wanted to talk about something um, kind of specific today and that was mostly about how to tell a story through photography and this is just going to be mostly a talking head I don't know if I'm going to throw up pictures during this thing or not but it's going to be a talking head and I just want to go over something that's really important to me when I'm making photos and that is it's is the story and I was gonna say especially when I'm making photos for other people's creative endeavors so back in January I was brought on this idea for a photo shoot for um, a friend of mine a now friend of mine who's a stylist and he had this idea of a jazz musician getting ready and then playing a night playing a show for the night nobody really played um, music but we had all the props and all the clothes and everything necessary and he walked me through the concept and I thought it was amazing I wanted to be a part of it I thought it would look really good in my portfolio it does and so I agreed to be on this project and when I got there everything was running a little late but that's no problem um, like I kind of blocked out time for things like that so when I got there, we started setting everything up and I was like, yo, this looks cool. So I'm just going to take pictures of everything. So once he explained to me like the backstory and stuff, I was like, all right, I'm going to set up this shot. I'm going to get like three different angles of this shot. And I walked through the entire backstory of the setup of like, you know, plate. Like it, We set up the booth that she sat in to make it look like she was eating breakfast and like, sitting down at this diner coffee shop before she got ready for the show like early in that morning she was thinking about it like there's a whole storyline that goes with this even though none of this really happened i thought it was really cool to take the idea and concept and then give it life almost like turn it into a movie without actually recording it so just shooting stills from a movie and that's basically what i tried to do Back to how to tell a story through photography. Basically, I wanted to go over a few things, and that is what is storytelling and photography um, and then how to do it. So to me, when photographers say I'm telling a story, obviously, when you think of stories, you think of things that are longer than one image. And some would argue that one image could tell a story and others would argue that you need a series of images to tell a story. I think that if the image is strong enough, one single image could tell a story. Um, you can look at an image sometimes and be like, okay, I can see a beginning, middle, and end to this. Like I can piece together um, clues that would turn this into a full length story. And other times I could see, you know, I, I'm on the side of, I like having a series of images to tell the story that way you get different viewpoints different perspectives different details different angles things like that to really create a world not just tell a story i want to pull you into a world or a universe and so when it comes to telling a story i think you just have to make sure that all of your story structural elements are there so you know is there a plot is there a focus is there conflict is there resolution um all those things that make a great story i think you need to have those things in the image or images to help create a whole story so ways that i go about creating story in my images is the first thing i do is visualize um i'm a huge person when it comes to visualization um i believe in vision boards i believe in thinking about things and meditating on things and I don't know how to say it but like thinking them into existence almost that's not the right term and there's a right way to say it and I just don't remember it right now but that kind of thought pattern like I have things all over my room now like my um, my desk in front of my desk there's a wall of magazine pages and that's like 
a vision board kind of for photography. And then I have my own work back here as a visualization of where I've come from and where I want to go. And I have motivational quote on the wall, um, you know, things that just help me see where I want to go. Like I want to be able to see it in my mind so that I can bring it to life, if that makes sense. So the first step for me is always visualization. The second step is to storyboard it out or plan it if possible. So with this shoot, um, my friend, he explained it to me and I kind of got the gist of what he was saying, but he did all of the planning. He found the model. He said that he had all this stuff set up. And so I just went with it. Um, once I got there, I was able to visualize a little more. So I, when he told me the idea, I had a concept in my head. Um, he told me that he had all the pieces together and the people and stuff. And so I just went with it. But then when I got there, I could see all the people. And from there, I kind of put together a really short plan. I didn't write anything down, but like I mentally took notes and I was like, all right, if this is the story, this is how it's going to go. We're going to do this, 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 and we're going to go here, here, here. And I'm going to get these shots and these ankles. So I was mentally making a plan of action based on the amount of time that we had. But in the future, if you have the opportunity to storyboard something out, go do that. That would save you a ton of time. Um, it'll save you a lot of this dialogue where you're trying to explain something. If you can show someone a picture or a photo of the look, the vibe, the pose, the color, how whatever you want, that's way better than you trying to describe it with words. The last thing I'm going to talk about is giving the story meaning. Yes, as a creative, as a photographer, um, you're there to make the photos and bring the person's vision to life or bring your own vision to life. I don't know who is setting up your shoots, but you're there to bring a vision to life. And so most of the time, personally, I want to give things meaning. So with the shoot earlier, when he explained to me that, yo, it's this it's this jazz musician they're in this coffee shop in the morning they're thinking about the show and then they play the show at night and it's great um to me i just wanted to make sure that all of those emotions that are tied to that simple little storyline are being executed and portrayed and shown through the lens and i think that i completed that i think that giving those things meaning um, bringing that story to life, making you, making the viewer feel like, hey, I'm watching this person prepare for a show. I'm watching this person get ready f to do the thing that they love, even though they might be a little nervous. Um, I was able to not feel, but like empathize and then put that through the lens. So that that's what I think about when I want to give something meaning, like you have to make it mean something to at least one person even if that person's you i think when if a musician is looking at this they can relate and so that that was my plan that's how i gave it meaning it means something to me it means something to my friend who put everything together um hopefully it means something to the model and whoever sees these images i hope that you can you know get that feeling from it so those are my thoughts on storytelling through photography. I hope I have not bored you. I hope I haven't like deterred you, but I really wanted to sit down, make this video. Um, I'll probably remake this in a couple years because this is messy because it's my return to YouTube. I'm using different gear and I'm just rolling with it. So. First, we're going to get messy and then it's going to get better. So stick with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, it helps the channel out a lot. Leave a comment. Um, I would love to know what you guys' take on storytelling through photography is. Everyone always talks about story through video. And I think story through video is a little easier um, because everything's moving and, you know, you can kind of piece together moving images and music and put things behind it when, when it comes to a still um it, it i think there's a little it's, it's a little more difficult and there are things 
um, other things to consider when you're trying to tell a story through stills. So I would love to hear you guys take on that. But other than that, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Larry G and you can believe that. Do the work and believe in yourself. Peace.